Hey, Puka. What's up, Jared? How you doing? Good, man. Got to ask what the reaction was when you block two players and one, uh, when you're watching on film and you block two players on the one play and you just bowled over the one guy. What's, what's that like watching that back with your boys and, and seeing that play? It was pretty fun. I think that was like my first recorded pancake. So I went, I, I immediately went to the old line and I was like, I was like, I can't wait to show you guys this play on film. And then I was wishing I could have, I could have gotten from that last defender a little bit, make sure Ty got in the end zone. But man, it felt so fun. I don't think I've ever been so hyped on a run play. I felt like I owned everybody in the stadium. Like it was like, I, I caught a 70 yard bomb, like with one hand and I scored a touchdown. It, it was cool to see Ty in the end zone just to get there. And like the momentum of that play, realizing it after, after the game, like we needed a drive to make sure we sustained the, the fourth quarter and came out with a win. I also wanted to ask you about the swagger you and Samson bring. You guys seem to feed off each other. You kind of see that a little little pieces of that on the sideline. You two seem to feed off of each other. Do you feel like that's made a difference for the team? Just just kind of how you feed off your own energy and your swag, the swagger you bring. Uh, I definitely think so. I mean, it's hard. It's a brother connection that's been there, and and it hasn't been like officially sparked for a long time because we haven't played together so it's just a new energy and like the confidence of the team that has carried over from last year um we've been able to add to it and then joining in on the brotherhood and being able to buy in what everything that coach kalani does here into the program um it's an energy that is contagious and it kind of start i feel like it starts with us but there are guys and we everybody just feeds off each other it just makes football way more fun when everybody's smiling jake and then jay yeah, Puka, I think as the season goes on, we're seeing you take on more of, I guess, I, I, t I call it a dynamic role. We're seeing you in this fly sweep. We're seeing you in a more traditional receiver role. Are you liking kind of the different ways you're being able to contribute to this offense currently? Uh, yeah, it's fun. I, I think we we have an explosive offense and we're still, we haven't really hit our full groove yet, but it's been fun to see what we've been able to put together in these games that we've had out there. I mean, we hit some good shots and we're starting to finally find a good flow that we want to go in, but it's been fun to move around and make sure that the defense has a little difficult job finding out where we are and who's going to get the ball and who's going to make that explosive play for us. I know you guys are focused one week at a time, but Sitting at five and zero, oh, it's got to be a pretty good feeling knowing, hey, we're living the dream that we kind of priced set out for ourselves to start this season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we hear it every day. I just uh, it's got to come back. I think uh, I saw I noticed something in our workout the other day. So our, one of our lifting shirts is restart, refocus, and rebuild. It's like it, that's kind of our mentality. We come in, and we got to each week after our game, we got to restart and get ready for the next guys and continue to rebuild our bodies and then get ready to kick butt on Saturdays. Hey, Puka, how much stress does it put on the other guys when you have a quarterback situation that's so unclear like you guys is? Uh, we actually just barely talking this with some of the guys. Uh, I mean, I've, I think it was pretty difficult when I know our defense was planning for Utah State. I think they were, when I watched the Boise State game, they were playing with two quarterbacks, so I couldn't imagine what it's like, and especially the variety or the different play styles that our quarterbacks play with, uh, with Jaron, Baylor, and then especially throwing Jacob in the mix now. So it's kind of, you get three different quarterbacks who are great at what they do, so it, it'll be interesting to see what they game plan for, but it'll be fun because I think all, all three guys, if they get out there, I mean, we're confident in what they do, so it'll be fun for sure. Do you feel like the pressure is mounting on you guys at all the as the longer this win streak goes? Uh, I don't think so. It's just it's so fun. Like I just like I barely mentioned. I, I mean, we come in after each week. I mean, Coach Kalani and our coach, our coaching staff, and the way we run our program is definitely something that makes it easy for us. I mean, we enjoy the wins for sure, but it's it's right on Monday we watch the film and get ready for the guys ahead of us, and they they deserve all our attention because each week uh, the our goal could be knocked off. So we got we. Every, everybody requires their best, our best game, that's for sure. Jared? In some ways, Puka, you're, you're used to that. I mean, for as long as I've watched you, you've, had, you've been on teams that, you know, everyone was going to give you their best shot and show you, you know, try and, try and knock you guys off. So I guess you're probably accustomed to that. Does, does that just have a sense of familiarity for you now by this point? <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it makes it more fun because, I mean, you know every time in practice, I mean, we're getting all these looks and we're, we're preparing for everybody's best. So you got to make sure that you, when you get that rep in the practice that you're making sure you get your best rep because it's going to be there on Saturday and everybody's coming. So we don't get too many shots, so you got to make sure every shot counts. Okay, last question from Trevor. Puka, what do you feel like your biggest – like your addition to the BYU offense this year has been with you and your brother, Samson, like what's the biggest addition been with you two on the football team? Um, 
I'd say we definitely have two different play styles. Samson is definitely more energy and a lot more. Um, he's like a spark. I feel like I, I I like to bring a little bit more physical. I think I'm a bigger guy, and I try to make sure that that my presence is felt on the field in the pass game in the run game. I'm, I want those defenders to feel me, <laughs> uh, make sure that I, I I impose my will on those guys. And then Samson just he's a goofball. I think every every time somebody sees him on the side, they can help us smile. He's smiling. He's always screaming, making sure everybody's ready to go. So I think it's the energy that helps us sustain throughout the game because it's hard sometimes. We've had some long games, especially some tough uh, second half. So it, it's it's nice to see a smile when you come back after a three and out. Even though we didn't accomplish our goal, he makes it easier to get back out there and make sure we get our job done. 